Right, so Lassie's down and we're going to use the Find My Drone app to go and find her. Now I am the blue circle and Lassie is the blue arrow. And all I have to do, whoops, all I have to do is walk in the direction that that blue arrow is. And that's where Lassie should be. Now Lassie's a clever little droid. And you might be thinking to yourself, why did she ditch right at that wall? And did she maybe even hit the wall? Well, there's a few reasons that she probably decided to ditch where she did. And I was watching very carefully as she was coming down. And I noticed that she decided to, to land. She had no option, she was crashing. But she decided to push herself between the stone dike and the wire fence. And I wondered, why is she doing that? And then I thought, that's really clever because, first of all, the area around here is really marshy and boggy. There's water everywhere, soaking right through the fields. You're crossing over burns and, and, uh, and wee small rivers. I suppose that's what a burn is really, isn't it? It's a wee small river. But the ground itself, all round about, is full of holes from the iron ore mining that used to happen here. And because of the terrain itself, which often gets filled up with water. Now, there's one place where you can guarantee that there isn't any water. And that is that little strip between the stone wall and the fence. So she's first of all thought, I'm going to land somewhere dry, which is pretty clever. And the second thing is, this area is full of roaming sheep and quite a few goats as well. Now, I'm sure a few of you know that sheep and goats will eat anything they see, particularly if it's something a bit unusual looking. So if Lassie had a ditched on the field side of either the stone wall or the fence, there was a chance that she could have been gobbled up by one of the wild beasts here in Scotland. <laughs> So I think that was quite a clever decision that she made. Now she took a risk by coming in quite close to that wall. And it looks like she may even have clipped it as she came in. But I don't think so. I think she's cleverer than that. So, heading up to get her, she's been missing now for six minutes and I reckon looking at the telemetry that she was about a mile away from the home point so I reckon it's a good 20 minute walk to get to her so we've been walking about five minutes so it's probably another 15 minutes or so to go The other good thing about where she decided, finally decided to ditch was this countryside, especially when you're seeing it from above, looks the same. And when you're walking through the area, you're passing by bits of the terrain, it all looks pretty much the same as well. So she's probably been thinking. When Windswept Robert comes out to find me, I better make sure that I'm close to something that is distinguishable from the rest of the land around this area. And that would be that small section of stone dike that still remains about a mile away. So all in all, that was a pretty clever landing. 
and she came down and had no control over the descent rate whatsoever because that was a, a forced landing by a critical low level battery but she did still have control over the yaw and the throttle and I think she used that to great advantage in positioning herself in a, a very good spot but we'll soon see the sheep up here don't mess around so they could be gathering around to see what fell on the other side of that dike and sheep have an uncanny way of getting themselves in behind walls and in behind fences so anyway onward we go and that is one windy day today no doubt about it and I knew when I sent her up there that there was a bit of risk involved with the wind and I knew there was a chance that she wouldn't make it all the way back but Lassie and I have tested this Find My Drone app before I'm just noticing there's all the sheep actually at the stone dike oh hold on, got to manoeuvre my way over some air water, see there there's water in marshland everywhere here so that was a I think that was a pretty good decision that, that Lassie made and I've just noticed there are some sheep up there a whole load of them right so there are a whole load of sheep up there hanging about and might be starting to look interested in a wee white thing with a blue and white jacket on oh my look at this this is and here's another good reason why Lassie has decided to ditch where she did because look at the water here that I'm having to having to walk through to get to her so all in all a pretty good decision so anyway on the follow my drone feature on the DJI fly app you can see that I'm making my way slowly but surely in the direction of the blue arrow thought I heard something there I think they were talking about reintroducing wolves into Scotland <laughs> why they would do that I have no idea but they were talking about it and there have been some big cats and I'm not talking just about your you're a wee wild cat, I'm talking about big cats the size of like cougars or pumas or whatever they're called oh, here we go, I have to navigate this right wee jumps in order, oh, hey, oh, squelch aye, so there have been big cats spotted about here as well so I'll have to keep my wits about me there you go 13 minutes she's been missing now and we're getting closer and closer to her I just have to get there before the sheep <laughs> aye so anyway I think I was saying me and Lassie have already tested the find my drone app or find my drone feature out when we played a game of hide and seek earlier this year and I put a wee card up there if you want to have a go and look at that that video to see the first time I tried out the Find My Drone app so this is the, the second time that we're trying it out but I'm very confident that it's going to work just fine as I already tested it in the snow as a matter of fact which you'll see if you watch that video up there so there we go. That's what's what about maybe half a mile we've walked now. Not quite sure. Oh look at that. Right. Ah. 
Aye. Now that's the thing. If Lassie had landed anywhere else, there was a chance she was landing in water. So I'm pleased that she was quick thinking as she was coming down to crash and chose her a landing spot or should I say her crash spot <laughs> with all of that in mind it's, I mean it's just everywhere look at that it's just there's water all over the the fields in it. Oh god, I'm going to have to get my feet wet in here, I think. Right, here's one of these wee thingies. Forget what you call these, it's not a style. This is one of these gate things that swing halfway and then you you go through and shut it. Forget what they're called, if anyone knows what that thing's called, that type of gate, I forget. Right, anyway, on we go. And we're getting closer and closer to that blue arrow. And I can even zoom in a wee bit now. Here we go. Oh my. That's, that's a wind right enough, so if it's blowing as hard as this here, you can just imagine what it was like up at that cairn at the top there. Right, where are we going to go? Here. Uh, right, let's try this path. It's not even a. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Just sunk in to the marsh by about three feet. <laughs> that just shows you what it's like. It's fairly treacherous. I thought that was quite quite solid land there, and I sunk in right up to my knees. So that's what happens when you come off the the path. But this is actually the, the trail I'm still on. <laughs> I hope you can hear all this squelching going on just to show you just exactly how incredibly boggy and marshy this part of the this part of the terrain is oh, here's another wee wooden but right beside a, a burn ok we're getting closer and closer now Right, and there's a stone dike just over there, but somehow we have to go over this bit of marsh here. Oh, my goodness, that was in another eight inches. There's some kind of stepping stones here. Take me through the, the marsh a bit. Oh. Right. Oh, can hear some sheep. Right, so there's the stone dike just to my left. I'm sure you can see that. But we've got a wee bit further on to go. Not too much. So suppose this is all, this part two is all a bit of an anticlimax because it's been very straightforward. Divine lassie. But that should put your mind at ease a little bit. That if one of the reasons that you're a bit reluctant to take your drone out any distance and you're a bit reluctant 
to fly her close to that low level battery warning this should serve as a perfect example of how it doesn't have to be a disaster and in fact it's no disaster at all as long as you have the the Find My Drone app and everyone who flies certainly a DJI Mini 2 will have the Find My Drone app and it will take you straight to your lost drone so we're not far away now at all and if I wanted to I could easily just go over there in between the dike and the fence, fence which is on this side of it and walk up the middle because that's where she ditched she ditched in between the fence and the stone dike so if I wanted to I could walk up there but I'll just continue walking up this way a wee bit so it's looking as if I'm pretty level with her actually I may even have gone a few feet too far so I'll start walking towards the wall and it would be this point if you wanted to I don't need to but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you if you turn on the flashing and beeping and hopefully the mics will pick her up so here we go start flashing and beeping now there we go. I can hear her clearly and this is what will guide you in the last few feet and there she is right there So she's upside down But she's looking pretty unscathed So let's get her up And we'll stop that flashing and beeping And we'll retrieve her there she is, so let's have a look Okay, so it doesn't look as if there's any damage to the props At all No, nothing there They look good, I'll feel them in a minute Looking all around her body She looks good, the camera, the gimbal's looking pretty good too, so It's all looking good, no, there's no No scratch on her Right So I suppose the next thing To do would be to see if she still flies there we go <laughs> not a problem at all <laughs> how are you doing wee girl? well done oh, we've got a bit of silhouetting, silhouetting with the sun there so let's let's move her over and we'll have a wee chat to the camera <laughs> we'll get the sun behind me right okay, come in a bit closer I don't want the sun right in my eyes <laughs> here we go okay, so there we go, let's Here she is, flying absolutely perfectly. Doesn't seem to be a problem at all. Oh, let's see, there's, and there is water right in the other side of this. So there you go. There's water right in the other side of that wall. So that shows, and there's a whole line of water. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a whole line of water all the way along there. So, and it's. <laughs> I'm going to walk around about her here, but there's actually water, <laughs> water everywhere. <laughs> but what I'll do is, I'll have a wee walk around, 
and we can check and see how she is but she's looking really good and she is bobbling about in the wind there so what we'll do is we'll get you in your wee bag lassie we'll get you in your bag in your pouch okay and uh, I'll carry you home and then we'll get you home and do some calibration checks and make sure it's okay all right and if you've learned how to use the find my drone app then we've won a watch so thanks very much Kiss a wee thumbs up and I'm out of here